parallel lines and transversals. We will be looking at angle pairs and applying the concepts as we go. Here are your lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to know the angle relationships that are formed with a pair of parallel lines and a transversal. You will be able to name special angle pairs and apply your knowledge of special angle pairs to solve for missing angle measures in diagrams involving parallel lines and transversals. So let's look at our first set of parallel lines and a transversal that passes through them. We have a pair of angles that are denoted here in red. These are called alternate interior angles. Let's think about why that name makes sense. They are in the inside of the parallel lines, thus interior angles. They are on alternating sides of the transversal. One is high, one is low. One is on the left, one is on the right. Alternate interior angles are congruent or equal in measure. Then we have same side interior angles. These again are in the interior of the parallel lines. They are on the same side of the transversal. In this case, they're both on the left side. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Their measures will add to 180 degrees. We have alternate exterior angles. And those angles are going to be in the outside region, in the exterior of the parallel lines. They are on alternating sides of the transversal. One is high, one is low. In this case, one is on the right and one is on the left. Alternate exterior angles are congruent or equal in measure. We have same side exterior angles. These angles are going to be outside of the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. They will be supplementary. Their measures add to 180 degrees. And finally, corresponding angles are going to be congruent. And we want you to be able to recognize corresponding angles. They basically op occupy the same position in a group of four angles that are there. They will both be on the same side of the transversal and both be either above or below the parallel lines. They're going to be congruent. So question number one. We have a pair of parallel lines denoted with the arrows that you see, those orange arrows, that will be kind of common notation, and a transversal, they're shown in the diagram. Classify the angles given in the diagram and determine the missing angle measure. Take a moment and see which option you would select. Feel free to go back to the previous slide. Okay, so these angles are both on the same side of the transversal. They are both below the parallel lines in this case. These are corresponding angles. We know corresponding angles are congruent. Therefore, x will have the same measure. x equals 110 degrees. Let's look at the next question. This time we have a parallelogram. It is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel opposite sides. Parallelogram D, F, G, E and one of its angles is shown, what is the measure of angle D? So to consider that, let's observe these two lines that are parallel, and let's look at line DF as the transversal that passes through the parallel lines. Now we can notice that there are a pair of same side interior angles. So what would be the measure of angle D? Are these angles going to be congruent or supplementary? Same side, interior angles are supplementary. So you need to subtract 180 minus 77 degrees to get 103 degrees for the measure of angle D. Let's look at the next question. A traditional diagram here, a pair of parallel lines and a transversal is shown. Determine the value of X, but this time X is part of an algebraic expression. And let's look at the pair of angles that and classify these. How would you classify these angles that are shown? They are outside of the parallel lines. Are they on the same side of the transversal or alternating sides of the transversal? 
So these are alternate exterior angles. We know they're congruent. So we can go ahead and write and solve an equation. We can set these two measures equal. x plus 10 equals 66. Subtract 10 from both sides. Therefore, x equals 56 degrees. And we'll look at one more example. Question number four. Classify the angle pair that's shown in this diagram. So to look at this angle pair, you want to first of all consider the parallel lines and then ask yourself the question, are these angles in the interior or the exterior or are they occupying the same position? So I think you would agree that these angles look like they're on the interior of the parallel lines and they're on the same side of the transversal, right? So we believe we're going to pick option B, but just to be sure, we know that same side interior angles are supplementary. So let's do an addition problem. 132 plus 48 does equal 180. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Therefore, we will choose option B.